I'd love to know your honest opinion just about Zen, how this has all happened. We met Jack in at the Hexican thing, which now in hindsight is a little bit like, wow, okay. <laughs> Remember everyone was saying that to me? They're like, he's a vampire. And I was like, no, he's not a vampire. Okay, this is business. Okay. I would love your take. So it's interesting because uh, the do you know why you met Jack Levin at Las Vegas? Well, he wanted to come meet all of the Hexicans and came to meet the Hexicans, really. And that was do you know who made the offer and said, uh, you know, why don't you come out and spend the day co-hosting? And oh, really? Them. Who did that? I did that. Nice. That's awesome. So, the reason that, you know, and again, Jack, Jack, you know, I, I didn't know him personally in, in uh, Silicon Valley. I, I never met him before, like his postcard reveal of Hex. And uh, then we had a stream. I can't remember which stream it was, but it was in the early days of him speaking with uh, Crypto Coffee or others. And I think I participated in one of those live streams. But we know we know the same people. We know some of the same people. And, uh, you know, that gave a little familiarity. That gave a little social capital to this person I didn't know directly, right? It's like, oh, you know, I don't know you, but I know people in your tribe and there are people in my tribe too, right? So there's that familiarity thing, whether it's you live in the same zip code or, you know, you you're, you go to the same hospital or school. Because again, I was in medicine in Silicon Valley from 2006 until 2017. And then uh, from 2013 until 2017, a second occupation I had was uh, operating a, a startup accelerator. So basically it was a hostel, you know, basically uh, 25 to 30 year old wannabe entrepreneurs uh, that want to launch a software product or a hardware product. And uh, we know some of the same people. Uh, yeah. So it's, maybe that's my stream with him as well. Yeah. So this is his five months ago, actually five months ago, you did a stream with um, Mr. Jack Levin and uh, looking good. Nice shirt. Um, <laughs> That's a great show, but I'm not going to play it. But it's just to show everyone five months ago, this guy was reaching out to others in crypto community trying to make connections. Yeah. And then, you know, because uh, uh, it was it was, you know, everyone knows that the challenge of the Pulse conference was many fold. One one element was I don't think the organization of the project was done very well. The person that basically got funded to create the event. Uh, and, and there's all that story that's basically online people can talk about and so forth. But mm -hmm. outside of that, you know, I've made a commitment, you know, on my own dime, you know, no sponsorship, mm -hmm. you know, no accommodation paid for me, nothing like that. Right. I said, hey, I, you know, I'm going to come out and, uh, you know, networking is kind of useful no matter where you're at. Doesn't matter what event or, or sector you're speaking with. You know, I talk to real estate people, tech people you know, a lot of stuff. And I, and I, and I like Hex a lot. And, uh, you know, and early on the idea of engaging, uh, Jack, it's interesting because we have the reference that was before Zen. Hey, this guy's Google guy, number 21. He's super smart. He's operated, you know, these large scale servers and the growth of, you know, one of the most valued companies known, you know, uh, Google and Alphabet and all that stuff. Right. And, uh, you know, his social network and his business network is probably very useful. Plus, you know, he probably has his own capital or capital of others that could come into Hex. So there was so much enthusiasm about him directly then. Right. And then, you know, he speaks on his first principles uh, content, which I believe in. You know, I like the first the first principles concept. I like the sound money concept, uh, whether it's in a metal form or a digital asset form, you know, whatever. I like those narratives. Th those are kind of why I'm involved. Sure, I want to make money on what I put capital to or I want to benefit in some social capital accrual. Right. You know, as far as your network and so forth. Like, I think we all have those kinds of ambitions. But anyways, we as hexagons, we're very warm and uh, and embracing of, hey, this person might help with adoption. It might pump my bags, right? That's kind of the narrative in the first two months or so of Jack. Uh, when the event for PulseCon was coming around, the Pulse Chain Conference 2022, uh, I reached out to Jack and said, hey, you know, I want to co-host. Um, I'm not going to have, you know, super duper video equipment. I'm just going to have like a laptop and a cell phone. But if you would like to co-host with me, I'm going to invite David Gockstein, who's another person that has 
700,000 followers and he's got his media channel and he talks about meme coins and shib and, you know, anything he wants to talk about, you know, Tate or whatever it is, but he gets great engagement. And, and he's entertaining, to be honest. And he's entertaining and he's a little bit, you know, a fighter personality and things like that. But he's, he's, he's pretty good about it, reasonable. And I made friends with him because of Corey Costa, right? So Corey Costa had a history with David from 2017 and 18. And his YouTube content uh, revealed that even more depth, but he knew him. And so these outsiders, that my point is these outsiders from the Hex perspective, from the Hex enthusiast, the Richard Hart, you know, uh, product uh, advocate that I, I tend to represent, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that, that having bridges without saying, hey, man, I built a bridge and you're not walking across it. You're staying over there in that community. Why did I build the bridge? Like I wasted effort to even talk to you. I think that's dumb. Uh, or building the bridge, making social capital, uh, you know, make, you know, expanding your network and theirs, right? Uh, they're speaking to your audience. They're, you're speaking to their audience if they have one, right? I think that that's a bridge. And, you know, sure, there, there is a risk that sometimes people get very tribal about. They say, well, the bridge should only be one way. Like, like, like it's not a two-way path here, right? Ideas, financial energy, uh, you know, someone else's capital might come into your product instead of my product. 